Three Israelis killed in stabbing attack near Tel Aviv. Israeli officials say at least three people have been killed in a Palestinian stabbing attack near Tel Aviv. 136. Jerusalem. A pair of Palestinian attackers went on a stabbing rampage in a town near Tel Aviv on Thursday night, killing at least three people and wounding four others before fleeing in a vehicle, Israeli authorities said. Police launched a massive search for the assailants, setting up roadblocks and dispatching a helicopter. The stabbing, coming on Israel's independence. Day, was the latest in a string of deadly attacks in Israeli cities in recent weeks. Early Friday, Israeli police said a search was underway for two Palestinian suspects from the occupied West Bank. The suspects, aged 19 and 20 years old, came from Janin, the hometown of other assailants involved in recent attacks in Israel. The town and its surroundings have seen frequent Israeli military raids and clashes with Palestinian militants in recent weeks. We will get our hands on the terrorists and their supportive environment, and they will pay the price, Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett said after huddling with senior security officials late Thursday. Israeli-Palestinian tensions have soared recently, with the attacks in Israel, military operations in the occupied West Bank and violence at Jerusalem's most sensitive holy site. The site, home to the Al-Aqsa Mosque, was the scene of new unrest earlier Thursday. Alan Riz Khan, a medic with Israel's Megan David Adam Rescue Service, described a very difficult call when he arrived at the scene in Alad, an ultra-Orthodox town near Tel Aviv. He said he identified three dead people at various locations. At least four others were wounded, one critically, officials said. Israeli media quoted police as saying there were two assailants, and just before midnight, police said they were still searching for the attackers. They called in the public to avoid the area, and urged people to report suspicious vehicles or people to them. Israel marked its Independence Day on Thursday, a festive national holiday in which people typically hold barbecues and attend air shows. Defense Minister Benny Gantz ordered a closure on the West Bank, imposed ahead of the holiday and preventing Palestinians from entering Israel, to remain in effect until Sunday. In Washington, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said U.S. officials vehemently condemn the attack in Alad. This was a horrific attack targeting innocent men and women, and was particularly heinous coming as Israel celebrated its Independence Day, Blinken said in a statement. We remain in close contact with our Israeli friends and partners and stand firmly with them in the face of this attack. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, whose government administers autonomous zones in the Israeli-occupied West Bank, condemned the attack. The killing of Palestinian and Israeli civilians leads only to more deterioration at a time when all of us try to achieve stability and prevent escalation, the official Wifa news agency quoted him as saying. The Palestinian militant group Hamas, which rules the Gaza Strip, praised the attack and linked it to violence at the Jerusalem holy site. The storming of Al-Aqsa Mosque can't go unpunished, Hamas spokesman Hazem Qasim said. The heroic operation in Tel Aviv is a practical translation of what the resistance had warned against. The Al-Aqsa Mosque compound is the third holiest site in Islam and is built on a hilltop that is the holiest site for Jews, who refer to it as the Temple Mount. It lies at the emotional heart of the conflict, and Palestinians and Israeli police have clashed there repeatedly in recent weeks. Early Thursday, Israeli police entered the site to clear away Palestinian protesters, after Jewish visits that had been paused for the Muslim holidays. As the visits resumed, dozens of Palestinians gathered, chanting, God is greatest. Scuffles broke out when the police went to arrest one of them. Police fired rubber-coated bullets on the sprawling esplanade as some Palestinians sheltered inside the mosque itself. The police could later be seen just inside in. In Transetto the barricaded mosque, the police said they responded to dozens of people who were shouting incitement and throwing stones, and that one police officer was lightly injured. The Palestinian Red Crescent Emergency Service said two Palestinians were taken to a hospital after being struck with batons. Unlike in previous confrontations, Palestinian witnesses said there was no rock-throwing initially. Some of those who sheltered inside the mosque began 
throwing stones and other objects when police entered the building. The witnesses spoke on condition of anonymity because of security concerns. Under informal arrangements known as the status quo, Jews are allowed to visit the site but not pray there. In recent years, they have visited in ever-increasing numbers with police escorts and many have discreetly prayed, angering the Palestinians as well as neighboring Jordan, which is the custodian of the site. The Palestinian Shave long feared that Israel plans to eventually take over the site or partition it. Israel says it is committed to maintaining the status quo, and accuses Hamas of inciting the recent violence. It has been some of the worst bloodshed in years. At least 18 Israelis have died in five attacks, including a stabbing rampage in southern Israel, too. Other shootings in the Tel Aviv area and a shooting last weekend in a West Bank settlement. Nearly 30 Palestinians have died in violence, most of whom had carried out attacks or were involved in confrontations with Israeli forces in the West Bank. But an unarmed woman and a lawyer who appears to have been inadvertently shot were also killed. Israel and Hamas fought an 11-day war a year ago, fueled in large part by similar unrest in Jerusalem.